very strong single. First American single by NXS, 1983. Debuting at number 48 on my fancy playlist. This should have been a top 10 hit, I swear. Only got as high as number 30 on Billboard's Hot 100. When this song came out, NXS, they were touring with Adam and the Ants. Remember Adam and the Ants, the Ant Music? <laughs> yes. Staying in the liver. And uh, Prince Charming, all in the early 80s. Boy, we're in the early 80s big time on this fancy playlist. And uh, they toured with the Go-Go's. NXS, which helped the sales of this record. And, of course, the video. <sighs> well, before I get into all that, let's go into this record real quick. Fancy Playlist, March 18, 1983. Debuting at number 48. The One Thing by NXS. Start out as the Ferris Brothers. In 1977 in Australia, changed their name to NXS, got their first uh, record deal in Australia in 1980, American record deal followed in 1983, and then they came out with the one thing, this video. God, the video is an absolute study and contrast. You have the handsome, the photogenic members of NXS, especially Michael Hutchins. You had all these drop-dead gorgeous, well, with the big hair, but big 80s hair, Drop Dead Gorgeous Playboy Centerfolds in this video. And they're ripping into this turkey. They're pigging out. They got these can't they got these cats running around on Falium. And it's a study, it's a commingling, it's the intermingling of beauty with the group members and the Playboy Centerfolds and the grotesque, the way they went about just digging into the food. <laughs> And, you know, you create an outrageous video like that, it's going to get played, particularly when you have a very strong record to go with it. And Michael Hutchins, uh, his girlfriend, I wrote her name down. She was a model, I think. She was in this video. I wrote it down. Michelle Bennett, I believe, was her name. She was in the video. And what else do I need to mention about this record? I think I covered all the basics. One other thing, and I just learned this. You're not going to believe this. Uh, Michael Hutchins, well, he died tragically in 1997 in a hotel in Sydney, Australia. And initially, it was thought that he committed suicide. But according to, I found this out just a few minutes ago. This is, a, this is just amazing. There is evidence to suggest that Michael Hutchins was actually practicing a technique, a technique called uh, autoerotic asphyxiation. I believe that's how you, uh, I'm looking over my notes to make sure I got it right. Autoerotic asphyxiation. This is when you, this is when you cut off your oxygen supply. to get sexual pleasure, or it's a turn-on. I never heard of this technique, but I just read about it a minute ago. And either way, well, whether it was by suicide or this, you know, this other thing, it's, it's very tragic. Very tragic. And uh, they did come out with an album in excess in the 2000s, which they had a couple of good records off of that album, post-Michael Hutchins. But boy, they're on a roll back in the 80s. The one thing started all here in America for them. Brilliant record. One thing debuting at number 48 on my fancy playlist of March 18th, 1983.